long work to do later on today, so I thought I'd walk in the woods and do a little me, myself and I. Do sort of like do an update about Boris the Dollies. You already know what I think about Boris. You've seen all me rants about Boris. Over to this, you see me shag Boris dancing off. You see me call him every name under the sun. You've seen me insult the man over and over again. So, should I really go out in the houses to insult our Prime Minister? So I'm going to insult the man who has basically allowed fadiance in the concert. Um, so I'm going to insult a man who is missus. I remember a couple of years ago when he was doing his all to wear face mask and deeper social distance, but his missus was on a boat having a fucking party. So I insult a man that when he turned around and told us all not to go out on Christmas Day, we're going to kill Dan Bar, we're going to kill Dan Dad, and then he's having a party. So I insult a man who, not that long after, got taught out again, having a couple of drinks with all his fucking buffs and buddies. So I insult the man. So I call him every name under the sun. That and his fucking son getting on my fucking nerves. So I insult the man. You know what? All fair said and done. Fuck it, I will insult the man. Because at the end of the day, you already fucking know, you've seen the fucking news, Boris Johnson has got away with it. He's got away with our law of trust, as you could say. Meaning a fault of no trust. I don't know who the fuck Boris Johnson was sucking off. I don't know who the fuck he was fucking and shagging, but seriously, people type it up, people let me know how the fuck does this man get away with it again. This is a miracle of modern fucking science, and yes, it's going to be a fucking man. I've just insulted him for an hour and a half there. I've insulted this dickhead two fucking years for a pompous prat of a prime minutes or I'm going to do you know what is still a lesson on this pompous prat. There's a thing on YouTube, look it up, but it tells you everything about Boris Johnson. When he was a public stew boy, he was a borer. Yeah, he was a stew borer. One of his jobs, this will make you laugh, one of his jobs, he got the sack for lying on a newspaper. That's one of his jobs he was doing as an apprentice. He got the sack for throwing porkies even then. He was vandalism when he was at stew, and he was a stew fucking borer. <laughs> I've got to laugh. Because this is the man we've got as our prime minutes are. This is the man who's lied to you, Sykes. I don't know, I sound like I'm having to go at you, but I'm not. I feel for everyone right now who's feeling like me, pissed off. And this bumbling prat, this puppet, this two boy, public boy, Dumbo, um, is still in fucking power. This is a man who once wanted somebody to get a dud hiding and made fun of people. With his puppet boy upbringing. And no, 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 no. I'm not having to go because he's up with Tass and I'm Miggle Tass and all this. Tass has nothing to do with it, but then it fucking does, that's it. It does because it's certainty have always been the same. And it's a pine sample. Keep the little man down and so the Iron Man, who he is, to above us, the little people. They were like that from the 80s when Maggie Fats are on the phone and they're a pine sample of what they are now. They're the pilot sample of what they are today. They are the pilot sample and it fucking souls it. It fucking souls it. But the fact he's got away with it, it's like, how the fuck could he get away with it? How many people, and an art, voted no trust in the man? How many? So I've got this blumbering idiot, this buffoon of a prime minute on. Bobby in the morning, the afternoon, going on about, oh yeah, yeah, this is Jay, we can now move on, and oh, we've my next plans is to help the economy. Effing help us. <laughs> Effing help us. Because when you think about it, he fucked up the country, he tossed the fucking economy. I'm laughing now. <laughs> I'm laughing because I finally get the last say. I get to throw all this for yous, the YouTubers out there. Even people who have not subbed to me get to hear what I fucking think of what a joke that is. Two years, people. Two fucking years when I've been on this channel, I have insulted this man. I've insulted this dickhead. I've said from day one what will happen to the economy if you keep locking a nation up. So he never did fuck all. What did it do to get rid of the big, bad, scary, boldy man? The virus. What did it do? 
it tripled the economy. Your trust of living has gone up. Your das has gone up. Your task for your car has gone up, not like it was fucking sty high to begin with. Everything, the trust of living has gone up all because of this fucking lockdown, what this lying bag of fat piece of dog shit has got away with. Yeah, I admitted the other day, right? Come and arrest me, come and find me. I admitted that I went to see my beautiful manager and it was her birthday. But I didn't go and have a fucking party. And since I'm open and I admitted it, I'm not lying, they don't know I didn't do it and they say I got caught doing it. I didn't do it, I was like, yeah, let's fight all my mates, you'll fight your mates, we'll go out, we'll have a booze up, it was just me, social distant, outside, like I am now, social distant, we weren't near one another, we already know we didn't have the fucking virus, but we do social distant. I had my beer here, she had her beer far away, she was on a top, nobody could see her because it's the taste of the Lord to see someone. Social distant and all this bollocks that this fucking asshole had a fucking party of millions laughing at our expense. Being about people couldn't see their loved ones who were dying on their deathbed and now have lost their loved ones, couldn't see them on their last dying day. That this fucking asshole has got away with it and he's laughing at us, people. He's fucking laughing at us. He's laughing at our fucking expense. But when they turn around and laugh and smile and go, Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And now my next band, we've got to move on. And we've got to help the economy. <laughs> I said if I'm doing this, what would happen to the economy? I said do this of all this bullshit about fucking our sop up, no decetical sop, so be open. What's the biggest thing for the economy, people? What is the biggest thing for the economy? Successful stuff. Do you know what's the next best thing for the economy? The pub. Honestly, I'm not I'd be drinking fucking beer. The pub gives so many people who are lung an opportunity for a job. Without the pub, the pub and the businesses wouldn't be I when it comes to making money. That is the biggest successful thing going, it's the pub. Don't we say open oh, people die of alcohol poisoning? A pub doesn't just sell beer. It sells coke, it sells... No, I went to the pub, no, I had, I had a tapatino. So that's pain to me, it's that fucking alcohol. It's a tapatino, alcohol. Can you die from alcohol poisoning from a tapatino? So it doesn't just sell beer. It's just longer people who never got anywhere, the first dance for a job. It teaches them new skills. Oh, we'll shut that down because of the big, bad, sturdy, boldy man. Oh, we shut down successful places like my sop. We'll be shut down three times from this fucking dickhead doing what the scientists wanted. But when I get, oh, 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 it's the same last Peter. How many times have I got to do this? How many fucking times? So that's, this is what lockdown did. It didn't do fuck all. People still got the fucking fires. Still got it. It's now undertone, it's all the fucking steady news, ignore it, it's bullshit, it's now undocked and told. But it's meant to pest a nation, and because of that, he tippled the economy. I'll say it again, I love saying the word, he tippled the economy. He's got away with your love of trust. How many people, I could tell you loads and loads of people said, we want him out, we want him out. Imitation, oh, we will stop the imitation. He let you down there, people. It's not racist, it's not racist. Why do you think it's the artist for me to get rid of this kid off it? How do you know that the people they're not letting in are rapists, murderers and paedophiles? How do you know? Bitch to tell, oh, we keep it in control. Yeah, right. My ass. And he's got away with it again, again. What a farce of our system. What a farce of the taxpayer's system. What a fucking joke. And what a joke for a prime minute, sir. Boris, I'm going to say it. You probably won't listen to me because I'm a little person. I know you was a stew bully, and I don't like stew bullies. I twatted my bully when I was at stool, and I got respect for it. But you want to know something? See, that's the bells of Dodd, because he knows what I'm going to say. Do you hear them bells? That's Dodd. Even Dodd doesn't want you in power. Thank you, Dodd. See, Dodd there, his voice. You may have got away with it, but you ain't got away with it from me. I still think you're a pompous prat. You killed the fucking economy. And you know what's so fucking sad? You're still in power. 
everything help the, the economy. Because I'm trying to see who helped the Ritz before he helps you. What a fucking joke. Boris Johnson, you're a fucking joke. I think you're stupid in power. It really shows how much to give a shit about us. Into then, though, people, I'm going to go to work in a bit. How do I feel about it? Wouldn't surprise. Just a fucking farce, really, isn't it? Don't buy this shit, he's going to save the economy. Because he really don't give a shit about us when he's been trapped with his pants down, don't know how many times. I don't think the man even knows the truth if it kicked him in the do list. See you later. What a joke.